After AGDQ 2016, Step Mania was on the board again, and millions of people knew what the game was, getting featured on articles from websites like Kotaku, videos uploaded of the event with hundreds of thousands of views, and more. Even the website for the game crashed at one point. However, the amount of people that actually stuck with the game grew immensely scarce over time, and the main critique was that the game was extremely hard to set up. With the development of Eterna, I'm going to show you how much easier this game is to set up now and that anyone can do it in just a short amount of time. To install the game, click the link down in the description below that will lead you to the download links, and click the version that corresponds to the current software you are running on. To install, all you have to do is click next, select where you want to install, and then click install. Once Eterna has finished installing, you can then boot the game. Songs or files traditionally come in packs, as they come very rarely in single files. The first thing you will notice when you go to play the game is that you will be asked to download a bundle. If you aren't quite sure which bundle to download, feel free to check out my pack tutorial where I display charts from each tier of difficulty to get an understanding of what will suit you best. If you are very new to rhythm games, I would highly suggest downloading the entire novice bundle pack so you have a wide variety of music choices and step files to choose from and the same principle can be applied for people that are already experienced in Mania-related games as well. To download packs individually, you can either head over to the pack website or use the game's built-in function to download files through the pack downloader on the title screen, or by clicking on the packs tab in the song selection screen. To add songs from the pack website, simply download the pack you want and drag the folder into the songs folder. To reload songs, you can either restart the game, press the refresh songs tab on the bottom right, or you can simply press Control q on the song selection screen. The amount of options involved in this game can come off as overwhelming, but a good amount of these are very specific optimizations for the player to make the game run how they please. In this tutorial, we'll go over the basic ones that you need to know that will get you all set up with the game. If you need to know more details about some of the options listed, they all have their own description for every one of them. For graphics and sound options, it depends on how well your computer runs and whether or not you want to stream the game. For performance optimization, setting everything to 16-bit and turning almost everything off will do the trick. Setting the texture resolution to 1024 will also help too. If you are confident your computer can handle it and will not run into the issue of lag spikes, feel free to use any of these graphics options to your advantage. Configuration key and joy mappings are to set up which keys you want to use to play the game. I would suggest leaving the menu keys and the start and select buttons as default. The rest are free for you to edit at your disposal. For theme options, keep the scoring to wipe as that is the scoring that is currently used for leaderboards. In Display, Appearance Options, there will only be a few things you need to worry about as well. To default your note skin whenever you play, adjust it to the note skin you will normally use every time you play the game. Link for all note skins will be in the description below as well. Brightness will determine how bright you want the background to be while you're playing. Turning this to 0% will keep the screen entirely black, whereas higher percentages will adjust the background as such. The user interface options don't need any changing, but you are more than welcome to edit those to your liking. Last in the options list, we have the advanced options. The judge in life will be at 4 defaulted, as all scores are converted to judge 4 no matter what judge you play on. Feel free to adjust them higher, but anything lower will hurt your scores drastically. Easter eggs are simply what are called toasties, a very old easter egg that when you hold a combo with a certain amount of accuracy, something will pop out of the screen, originally someone saying, toasty. Some of these are actually available at your disposal on the Eterna website as well, but you can turn them off if you find them distracting. One of the most important things in my opinion that I will go over lastly is adjusting your offset. Your offset is dependent on multiple things, monitor refresh rate, audio output device, and more. To adjust it, you can press F6 twice before the song starts and play to the beat of the song until it syncs up properly. Or you can adjust it manually by going into your Eterna folder, save, and preferences.ini, and then scroll down to global offset seconds. For example, my global offset is negative 18 milliseconds, and will show up as negative 0.018234. The last three digits won't necessarily be crucial to your offset, so if you want to adjust it to say 40 milliseconds, set the global offset seconds equal to 0.040000. I would highly suggest using the first method, but the second method also works for people who are used to setting their offset manually. And with that, your return should be good to go. Upcoming tutorials for the game will cover how to adjust certain things in game. The next video will be on scroll speed, so be on the lookout for that. Shoutouts to patrons Princess Well and Carnage for supporting the channel, and feel free to support me on Patreon for more Eternity tutorials. Other sellout links will be in the description below. I'll see you all in whatever video I upload next, and take care.